We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. The Dialogue, the community voice of Southern California's Young Professional Network. Relevant discussions about the thoughts, concerns, opportunities, and challenges faced by today's generational leaders. Real talk, real people. This is The Dialogue. The Dialogue. With Starlet Quarles on L.A. Talk Live and streaming live at www.latalklive.com. Welcome once again to The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. I am your host, Kenya Kirkland, the style icon, filling in for Starlight Corals, and we are streaming live on latalklive.com. And as always, The Dialogue is the voice of our generation, so thank you for joining us right here every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m., where we like to discuss the topics that are relevant to today's generational leaders. Tonight, we'll discuss purpose versus passion. Which one is most important on the road to success? We decided on this topic to answer the age-old question, what am I here for and can I make money doing it? So many of us are focused solely on making money, right? Many of us. Um, And money is great. We all need that. Um, But the truth is there's more to life than having and making money. Each of us has a purpose. God called us to be for a reason and for a sole purpose. But what if you never knew truly what that purpose is? What if you never, ever knew what you were here for? What would life really be fulfilling or is passion enough? I'm passionate about fashion. Those of you who know me, you know how much I love style. I actually I live for it. But at what I thought was the height of my career, I found myself in a depression. I was making a lot of money. My family was amazing. I was in Vogue. I was in Harper's Bazaar. I was traveling the world. I lie. I was traveling the country. (laughs) I had dreams of traveling the world. Um, (laughs) But I found myself in a funk because I was living off of passion. Um, And that passion just wasn't enough, to be honest. Um, And it's my belief that when you merge your purpose, excuse me, with that thing that you're passionate about, you're able to truly live the life that God has designed for you and the money will follow. We're going to talk more about it tonight on the dialogue with our show. Purpose versus passion, which is more important on the road to success? And to help me answer the question, I've invited two of my friends, two ladies um, that I have watched thrive in their purpose um, here in Los Angeles. And I've seen what they do and how they uh, manage their, their families and their businesses. I've invited Michelle Collins, founder of the Persona Program, and Kiana Shaw, master personal development coach. And before... Yay! Clap, clap, clap. Yay! <laughs> and before I get into their formal introductions, I need to handle a little bit of business. As always, this is a community conversation. So we definitely want to hear from you today um, on this topic. So make sure you give us a call. The number to call in is 323-473-3100. Again, that number is 323 473 3100. You can also post your comments or questions on my Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash Mrs. Kenya K, or tweet me at the style icon. That's T H E E style icon. And we will try and get to some of your questions throughout tonight's show. And of course, you can always stay connected to us by joining our mailing list at the dialogue LA.com, where you can also find replays of past discussions. Okay. We are now going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, I'll introduce you to the ladies, and we're going to jump right into our conversation on purpose versus passion, which is more important on the road to success, right here with your girl, Kenya K, on The Dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. We'll be right back. We know there are many choices. 
resources in internet radio and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. The Southern California chapter of the National Organization of Minority Architects, SoCal NOMA, is proud to present its 8th Annual Architecture and Engineering Summer Camp for 2017, Saturday, July 15th, 22nd, and the 29th, with project presentations on August 5th. Exposing our youth to the built environment, the camp will be taught by industry leaders in architecture, engineering, urban planning, and interior design. The campers will also enjoy field trips, hands-on projects, prizes, and more. It all takes place at Los Angeles Southwest College, located 1600 West Imperial Highway, Los Angeles, California. Students ages 10 through 16 can register to attend, and registration fee for all four days is just $100 with lunch and snacks provided. For more information or registration, contact the summer camp directors at Camp Register at SoCalNOMA.org. That's Camp Register at SoCalNOMA.org. The 8th Annual SoCal NOMA Summer Camp, exposing our youth to the built environment. Proud sponsors of LA Talk Live. Business increase. Interested in advertising your business, product, or service here on The Dialogue? The Dialogue will help you promote your business, increase your traffic, and bring in new clients through innovative and creative marketing packages, including affordable radio ad campaigns for small businesses. Go to www.thedialoguela.com or call 323-475-8729. That's 323-475-8729. 323-475-8729. And now... And now Back to The Dialogue. The Dialogue. With Starlet Quarles. Real talk. Real people. <laughs> Welcome back to The Dialogue. Real talk. Real people. And tonight we're discussing purpose versus passion. Which one is more important on the road to success? As always, this is a community conversation. So make sure you give us a call today. Again, the number is 323-473-3100. That's 323-473-3100. Or you can post comments <laughs> on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Mrs. Kenya K. Or tweet me at the style icon. That's T-H-E-E style icon. And we'll try and answer some of your questions on tonight's show. So now let me introduce my, my guest. Um, first, I have Michelle Collins. Michelle is a dynamic speaker, mentor, and author. As a passionate motivationalist, she shares spiritual insight for practical living. Her quest to motivate and, and inspire leads to transformational transformation excuse me, for individuals ready to develop a better version of themselves. Her own inspiration comes from witnessing the divine magnificence in others by encouraging re- redeeming work and creative aspirations. Michelle is founder and program director of the Persona program where she prepares this generation of girls ages 7 through 18 years of age for positive presentation through a mission to build confidence, develop character, and promote proper conduct. My girls have been to your events at the Persona program, and I just love what you do. And I just want to thank you. I know you have an upcoming event that I want to give you a chance to talk about later in the show. But um, thank you for joining us, Michelle. Thank you for having me. Yay! Yay. (laughs) And then we have Master Personal Development Coach Kiana Shaw, who is also a four-time best-selling author and public speaker. Kiana Shaw is the founder of Leadership Academy, a company designed to teach teen girls life leadership and empowerment skills to inspire, educate, and elevate them. She is also the creator of Mothers Raising Teen Daughters, a safe place for moms to express themselves while getting the tools and resources they need to bring love, joy, harmony, and supportive dialogue back to their homes. That is big. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> that thank is you. big. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. And you have a book out right now. I do, I do. Uh, my most recent book is I Choose to Be a Lady, Basic Life Lessons for Our Daughters. And we cover 
a gamut of topics, hygiene, dating, bullying, social media use, personal branding. We cover quite a bit. Okay. Awesome. 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 So it sounds like both of you ladies are walking in your purpose and that is the reason we're here tonight. So let's just jump straight into the question. I'll have you both answer purpose versus passion. First of all, before we answer the question, what is purpose? What would you say purpose is, Michelle? Purpose. So purpose is the reason why you were created, the right. reason mm -hmm. why you're born, the reason why you're here on earth. Um, I also want to just let it be known that everybody has a purpose. If you are alive, there is a purpose down inside of you. Absolutely. So um, you're breathing, you're alive, you got purpose. It's all about tapping into it, finding out what it is, but everybody has a purpose because that just means the reason why you were born. Right. Kiana? I have the same response. It so is what's literally. passion? What's so passion? then passion is that emotional connection that drives you to do what you want to do. Okay. Emotional drive, the thing that drives you emotionally. Mm -hmm. And then purpose, we're, we're destined, like it's that thing that you're called to do. Correct. Absolutely. The reason why you were created. How do you know the difference? Like people, people get them confused all the time is the reason we're asking this question, right? I've heard people say, I want to, I want to open this business because I'm passionate about this or, um, you know, my, my business is, is not doing so well, but I am passionate about helping people, but is that your purpose? Right. So what's the difference? Why does it matter? So when I think also about purpose and, you know, we have an event on Saturday and I got to talk about purpose again. Yes. So this is kind of like a precursor, purpose, Absolutely. purpose, purpose. Um, but you can never talk about it enough because some people don't know that they have one or know what it is for right. them. Purpose is not only is it the reason why you were born and created, but it's also that thing that God uses you to help solve a problem in the world. Okay. So your purpose is a problem solver. Um, if you are doing anything that you think is your purpose, ask yourself, what problem am I solving? What solution am I creating? Like me and God working together, we are co-creating together. That is really what purpose is. So if you're doing something and you can't really identify whether you're solving a solution, uh, solving a problem or creating a solution, then it's probably an indication that you're not walking in your purpose. Mm. So that's one way to look at it. Mm hmm. And then also, you want to keep in mind that your purpose is there to add value to other people. Right. Right. And so it's, it's bigger than me. My, pur my purpose is bigger than me. I don't get mm -hmm. to quit on my purpose. My purpose, uh, when I find out who I am in God, is to go back and understand that the purpose comes from God, which means that I don't get to belittle it. Right. I don't get to not show up in it, mm -hmm. right, um, and then have this wonderful life, and I'm avoiding my purpose. Whereas passion, we get excited about everything. It's, it's an emotional thing. We get excited about and passionate about, you know, talking about basketball games, and we get – and now, listen, now your passion can't produce purpose. That's why we all got kids, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So you can, have, <laughs> you can have a passionate love, but if you've ever been married or if you've ever had a relationship, you know that you can fall in and out of love, mm -hmm. right? So the passion can leave. And so if your passion produced a child, that's now a new part of your purpose. You don't get to walk away from the kid. You understand what I'm right. saying? Your mm -hmm. passion can lead to the purpose, but it's, it's a totally different thing. Right. And I, as I was thinking about it, I, I was thinking, so purpose is for the world. Yes. Passion mm -hmm. is for yourself. Comes from you. It's right. more of self-serving. Mm -hmm. right. It's that thing that it feels good to me. I'm passionate about it. I right. want to do this. Right. But your purpose is that thing that God is calling you to do. Mm -hmm. Right. I hope mm -hmm. that answers for some people, um, how to, how to tell the difference for themselves. Yeah. Um, what was your life? I talked a lot, a little bit about it before um, we got started. My life before identifying my purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I mm -hmm. lived a life of passion. I, I followed my heart mm -hmm. on so many things, but it made it hard mm -hmm. to really know what my purpose was. What right. was life like for you each before knowing your purpose? 
Oh, wow. Is there a bigger question than that? Like, <laughs> I know, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before and after. Right. Yeah, because we got to, we gotta, you know. Break it down. The whole, break, break it, it down. all the yes. way down. Yes. Okay, so, oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm scared to answer this, but I'll go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I was living in my passion, I didn't necessarily know what it was. I didn't necessarily, I mean, because I, I, like I said, I was passionate about so many things. I've been passionate about relationships. I've been passionate about being a hairstylist. I've mm-hmm. been passionate about, you know, not being a mom. You know what I mean? So I, I just kind of lived a life that was real strong and wrong for the most part, <laughs> you know. But I still I like knew that. what my purpose was because I've been mentoring and teaching young people since I was 12. Mm. I've been a part of that. So I knew what the purpose was, or at least it had been identified in me, whether I knew what it was at that moment or not. And so my life of passion was really reckless for me. Mm. I did a lot of things that, you know, I would love to be able to take back Mm -hmm. on some level, Mm -hmm. not ashamed of anything, but not proud of everything. Right. And so I think that the before and after really is not about what it looks like on the outside, but what it feels like on the inside. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely a sense of fulfillment. There's a sense of joy that did not come at that time before it was happiness, which I associated with just not being bored. And now there's a sense, there is a, not a sense of, but there is a joy inside of me. And when I go, I give it all. I I enjoy it. I I want to do my purpose every day. Right. Purpose doesn't, you don't get bored of purpose. Um, you get tired of it. You get but tired. You don't get bored I was of it. About to say, <laughs> right? You get bored. You don't get bored. But I, before we even get into how tiring it can be and how you sustain <laughs> that, right. um, I just want to sit in the place of not knowing your purpose for a minute. Yeah. Because I remember being the girl who I was just going, going, going. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know really where I was going. Now God knew. Thank God. He knew, Mm -hmm, you know, but I didn't really, I wasn't clear about where I was going. Um, And I posted today on Facebook. It was, it was sometimes hard to say yes before I knew my purpose, because if you invited me to host a radio show, I may be scared of that, Mm -hmm. not being clear of my assignment to Mm -hmm. inspire and ignite world changers. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now knowing, is there one thing, is there anything that you um, have learned knew about yourself or that thing, you know, a, a life lesson in your purpose that Absolutely. you didn't maybe know before. And can you share it with us? So I learned and I'm still learning that fear is a bully. Mm. Um, it's always going to be mm. present, like but that. it is a bully and it will bully you into being stagnant and not moving in purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to bully back, <laughs> you know, you got to yes. show fear who's boss and you got some help. You got God on your sa- side. Um, hopefully you're passion, passionate. And so that's driving you. I kind of liken it as a car, you know, you may have a car, but the gas in the car is really what makes the car go from here to there. So that's the passion and the purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, you know, you might be scared on the journey. Mm -hmm. Fear will come and set in and you might start thinking about your inadequacies and some of your mistakes and feeling guilty. Um, And so you may not want to step into purpose and you may not feel like you're valuable or you're valid. Whatever you have to offer is valid enough. But I want everybody to know that it is. God made no mistakes and whatever he gave you is for you, but also to share with others. And so I'm really learning that fear is a punk. It really is. I mean, if you bully back and fight through that thing, what's that quote that we all love? Feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm telling you, you will see fear actually disappear. Right. I have a caller. We have a caller, ladies. So let's. Hello, caller. Where are you calling from? Hello. We may have lost the caller. Hello, you still there? Okie dokie. Sorry, caller. Call back. I would love to answer your questions. Um, Kiana, where, what was, what's a, a lesson that you, you've learned, something that you know now that you've discovered and you're walking in your purpose versus um, before? 
I think I've discovered that purpose people don't say yes to everything. Mm, there's and some so, no's. Right. And so when she was saying that, you know, or you, I think both of you said that, you know, you say yes to things now. I've had to learn to say no because I was saying yes to everything. And then mm-hmm. I'm over here and then I got addicted to the slash, right? So slash entrepreneur, slash mm-hmm. uh, mother, slash uh, baker, slash, <laughs> slash right. flight attendant, right? And so we get addicted to the slash and when you're walking in your purpose you realize I have to dial back on some stuff I just cannot do everything I can't be a part of everything Uh, I have missed more functions and it's not that I don't love my friends it's just that my purpose says you need to prepare my Mm -hmm. purpose says you don't get to be a part of that because it's not a part of the brand it's not a part of the image that you need to be projecting out. And right. it's not about living in a phony life. It's about understanding what is bigger than you right. and following suit. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So your purpose can, is a guideline for your lifestyle. It Absolutely. Is. It, it is. Your friends. It is. Oh, mm. um, how you spend your time. Dating. Um, Yes. yes. Relationships. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, um, it, it really will help you live a better life. Once you know it and tap into it, there's just no other way to live. Absolutely. Right. Okay. We have a caller. Hello. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, caller. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Sounds like oh, the same okay. background, though. It's definitely I the know, same person trying to hit back. You're really trying, <laughs> and I really want to hear your comment or question. Um, that that actually answered the next question I had was, why does purpose matter? Mm. Um, and I, I just, I hear people that are just not, they don't get it. Like, why are you having this purpose conversation? Why why does it matter? The thing is, if more of us lived by this guideline, yes. what would the world be like if we were each not just living by passion but by purpose Mm -hmm. and living the lives that God really designed for each of us yeah you look like you want to say something (laughs) go ahead I think the world would look like peace Mm -hmm. I think it would really look like peace I think that there's so much chaos because Mm -hmm. everyone's trying to tap into everything Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying um, purpose help you stay in your lane, huh? Mm-hmm. It does. And be great at it what does. you do. <laughs> yeah. What it called you to do. It really right. does. And mm-hmm. and sometimes, you know, I think that we, we get caught up in the busyness of life. Right. And the busyness of wanting to, especially with social media, like everyone wants to look like they're doing something. Mm. You know what I mean? And from, doing it well. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it's mm-hmm. like, you know, from going to the bathroom to, <laughs> you know, jet setting, it's like, you're not jet setting. You're going to Vegas. Like, that's it's not the same. <laughs> you, you know, know what, what I mean? But we want to look like we're doing so much. And Purpose says, nope, I, I'm, I would rather everyone think that I'm boring and know me for this. Know me for this God-given purpose mm-hmm. than to think that I'm just, you know, this amazing jet setter that's always on the go. If you go after your purpose, do you have to give up success? Like, to your point, i I want to, because I hear somebody, you just spoke to the old girl in me who was like, so what you mean? I can't get on, go to Vegas. I can't post a picture of my food because I find purpose. I no, that. I don't want to find no purpose there, Kiana. <laughs> right. Uh, because I need to still take a picture of my food and post it. I need to still get on this flight right. and be like Bow Wow and post a picture of the jet, even though I was on Southwest. Right, right, right. <laughs> so... Do you give up when you discover your purpose? Do you do you have to give up? I guess the world is it boring? Well, mm. it's not, not boring, boring, but Mm-mm. it's definitely purposeful. You do give <laughs> you know up. I mean? You give it, up because there's a do, sacrifice to purpose. It, there is a sacrifice, mm-hmm. but when you're on purpose, you don't even realize that you're boring. You know, you're good with you. <laughs> <laughs> you're touching who you need to touch. You're so good true. with God. And so that's what else? The thing. That's what why else I matters? Asked the question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else matters? You know, we talked the other time when we were on that panel. It actually becomes about responsibility. So, you know, are you immature or are you going to grow up, you know, like not to go there, but to go there? The Bible says when I was a child, 
I spake as a child, I understood as a child, but when mm -hmm. I became a man or a woman, I put away childish, childish things. things. Once you tap into your purpose, you got to put away childish things. Right. And your childish, childish things is different from mine, different right. from Kiana's. We, it's all different, but we know what it is. And so it becomes about responsibility. Like, right. I got to get this done. Like, I'm going to let... God look bad if I don't fulfill this, if I don't Ooh. do this. So I'm sorry I'm not really out to please you, but I got an assignment. And I right. got to do this homework, and I got to turn it in. It Absolutely. makes it easier not to live for likes. Yeah, you yes. for God's likes. Yes. So it's not yes. about how many likes you got on Instagram. It's about how many lives you changed That's today. That's the point. That's right. the Who did point. you transform? Who did you serve? Yeah. Who did you because show up for? the truth is, a lot of the stuff that is related to my purpose, I can't post on post on social media because I work with kids. Right. Mm. right. And so I can't, you know, post everything. And so it's not about the likes. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't turn to my best friend and go, was that good? Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, it's not that I don't look for the validation, but it's not for the purpose of my ego. It's for the purpose of how can I be better? Correct. And so mm -hmm. it, it creates a, mm -hmm. a cause and effect. There's an ebb and flow there mm -hmm. that you, you want to please God. You want to make sure that you're doing the best, that you're living the best. Yeah. And passion is not about that. Passion is what feels good. Mm -hmm. What feels good to me right now. Mm -hmm. And so when so I see those post so to speak or when I hear a speaker that is all about themselves I go okay passion but not purpose yeah mm. now what if there are people listening right now who are saying all right now I, okay I understand mm -hmm. the whole purpose thing I see why I need it but how I find it how do mm -hmm. I find Ooh, how I do it. I <laughs> 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 how do I find out what God is calling me to do who is he calling me to be? Yeah. I don't hear God. I'm not walking down the street and he just like, <laughs> you know, is it something he's just going right, to throw in front the, of you? He's not the booming voice in the right, sky. Right. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who wants to answer first? I'm going to let Michelle take notes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. Because um, we're all on the same page. So absolutely, I don't mind. Um, so how do you know, right? That's the question. How do you know what you How do you discover Or how it? do you discover it? So I think... One thing is, since you were born with it, you are probably already doing it. Mm, you probably right. already like it. So pay attention to the things that you like to do. Pay attention to the things that come natural for you. So you're not copying it. You're being your authentic self. Mm. And um, pay attention to the impact that you have when you yes. do that thing. Like most it ain't of us, about you. It's not right. about you. It's about your solution your, that you're placed here to, to give to the world. Like I'm sure pretty much we all can sing, you know, or at least uh, carry a tune. Not me maybe hopefully <laughs> i mean but, i think i can sing okay so kiana then i can carry a little bit of a melody i'm nobody's singer right so i'm not gonna be um walking into that but pay attention if we all like to sing and you're kind of okay i'm kind of okay and, and kiana just knows she the bomb um pay attention to the impact that it has right so we all like to sing but pay attention to the impact that you're having that will tell you that's my purpose because somebody's life is being transformed when i do that thing when i sing when I design, when I speak, when I mentor, when I have an event, you know, so pay attention to um, what you like doing, pay attention to what excites you, not passion, but just what gets you excited and pay attention to the impact that happens when you do that thing. That's an indication. It's like a clue as to what that. your purpose is. I love that. I love that. Absolutely. And you know, I wanted to say you're a stylist. And there are times when people come into your shop and you find them something, they go, oh, this is cute, and they feel really good about it. And then there are times where someone stands in front of that mirror and they cry, mm -hmm. right? Because they're going, I, I didn't think I could look this good, or, mm -hmm. oh, my goodness, I haven't seen my body in this light. Mm -hmm. And so it's that is when it changes and it goes into purpose. It affected somebody else mm -hmm. and right. affected somebody else right? right so the affecting is that emotional stirring but the affecting is the life change and i think that when your purpose sometimes sometimes you don't want to go do it mm -hmm. and that's just a reality everyone that's preaching doesn't want to preach mm -hmm. it's not about the limelight for a lot of people mm -hmm. true and so a lot of times it's about making sure that you know we can move forward without having um 
without having the show behind us. And so right. we, we get tired, but we still go. So pay mm-hmm. attention to that as well. Pay attention to the things that you're like, oh my goodness, I, I, I am exhausted, but I really want to go take care of this. Right. Again, because it's not about you. Right. It's right. about the impact. I host a workshop called The Purpose Blueprint. Mm -hmm. You know about it. Mm -hmm, You've seen mm it. mm -hmm. Um, And I used to say whenever I, I knew I was walking in my purpose while doing it when it was a tearjerker for people. Like when that other person had that aha moment and when she discovered or he discovered their purpose, I was like, okay, God, this is what I'm here to do. Uh, You know, I'm here Mm. to take people ignite people Mm -hmm. in their purpose um but i also in that in that workshop i tell people um for me my purpose was the thing that the enemy was trying to stop me from doing right right because he don't come for your passion Uh -uh. he doesn't he doesn't come for your passion okay and we're gonna take a commercial break and we'll be right back all right you are You are working miracles. How worship you? How worship We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and hosts of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. The Southern California chapter of the National Organization of Minority Architects, SoCal NOMA, is proud to present its 8th Annual Architecture and Engineering Summer Camp for 2017, Saturday, July 15th, 22nd, and the 29th, with project presentations on August 5th. Exposing our youth to the built environment, the camp will be taught by industry leaders in architecture, engineering, urban planning, and interior design. The campers will also enjoy field trips, hands-on projects, prizes, and more. It all takes place at Los Angeles Southwest College, located 1600 West Imperial Highway, Los Angeles, California. Students ages 10 through 16 can register to attend, and registration fee for all four days is just $100 with lunch and snacks provided. For more information or registration, contact the summer camp directors at Camp Register at SoCalNOMA.org. That's Camp Register at SoCalNOMA.org. The 8th Annual SoCal NOMA Summer Camp, exposing our youth to the built environment. Proud sponsors of LA Talk Live. Interested in advertising your business, product, or service here on The Dialogue? The Dialogue will help you promote your business, increase your traffic, and bring in new clients through innovative and creative marketing packages, including affordable radio ad campaigns for small businesses. Go to www.thedialoguela.com or call 323-475-8729. That's 323-475-8729. 323-475-8729. And now... now, Back to The Dialogue. The Dialogue. With Starlet Quarles. Real talk. Real people. Talking about that all the way. Welcome back to The Dialogue. Real talk. Real people. And tonight we're discussing purpose versus passion, which is more important on the road to success. As always, this is a community conversation, so we would love for you to call in, ask questions, give us your comments. The phone number is 323-473-3100. Again, that's 323-473-3100. Or you can post your comments on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the style icon. Nope. Facebook.com forward slash Mrs. Kenya K. Or tweet me at the style icon, T H E E style icon, and we'll we'll try to answer some of your questions on tonight's show. All right, so we know many of us are entrepreneurial. We're business owners. We are climbing the corporate ladder. Um, but if purpose is God given, mm-hmm. should you monetize it? Mm. Should you make him, Should you be making money? Doing the thing that God gave you to do. Yes. Why? Because the Bible says your gifts make room for you. Mm. God didn't ask us to come to earth and be broke. He said that we would have an abundant life. Mm -hmm. And if you are letting people talk you out of monetizing your purpose, then who 
feeds you and your family while you are out being purposeful. Right. You understand what I'm saying? If you are out um, preaching and teaching and styling people and mm-hmm. you're spending your own money to do it, you need gas. You you, don't, you understand what I'm saying? Right. If, you, if your purpose is to reach the masses and you've created an Internet show, you have to pay for the Internet. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and your kids deserve to eat. Mm-hmm. And my child likes to eat every day. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I don't know about your child, but her child. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my, my child, my day. children too. Right. right. <laughs> you know, and um, it's okay, and and it's actually wisdom to yeah. monetize it. Mm-hmm. And I think that we get caught up because people who don't want to pay because they have they don't have to pay the price for your purpose. So they don't want to mon- they don't mm. want to pay the price for you to come and do your purpose, mm-hmm. right? And so they get upset. But so what? Mm-hmm. You're benefiting from it. Mhm. And if, if if you want if you don't want to benefit from it, then great. Let me move on. But if you do, and I'm constantly, I'm coming. I'm I'm bringing groceries to your house. I'm making sure that your child goes to college. I'm making sure that you know whatever is going on that your family comes back together. I can monetize that absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I would say that I had to learn that it's just an exchange. I'm exchanging. My gift for your gift. Your mm-hmm. gift might be the money, but I'm sharing my gift, whatever that looks like for every individual. So I had to learn that it's just a mindset change, really. You're not taking from anybody. You're giving, right. and they're giving, but everybody is receiving value, you know? And so um, that's definitely something I had to learn. And then there's a, a scripture in the Bible that says that God wants you to prosper even as your soul prospers. Yes. So a lot of times we think about us spiritually on on the inside, making sure that our relationship with God is good. But he doesn't concern, he's not only concerned with our inside, he wants to make sure that your whole life prospers, like your family and everything connected to you, that is prosperous, right. not broke, not broken down. Um, mm. Because how can you fulfill his plan if you're hungry? That's, right. that's just real. Exactly. If you don't you have gas to light get to. If your lights are off. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> see, that's a Ooh. word right there. Y'all need to Say it again. <laughs> write that down. Write that you down. You can't be the light you if your lights the are light off. If your lights yes. are off. Yes. How you yes. gonna give water now. if your water is off? Exactly. <laughs> I'm just you saying. can't even afford to buy the water to give. You say, oh, my purpose is to take water to the people of Flint. So you gonna pay for that out your own pocket? You know how many millions of dollars that is? Right. It's okay to charge. It's yeah. okay to ask for help. That's right. Becky. Monetize it. Now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how passionate I was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yana said she got to get to the money, <laughs> right? <laughs> As we all do. But is your purpose then automatically financial rewarding? Did it? Um, mm. You know, was there a little struggle in getting growing it to where you want it to be? Are you still in that growing process, or do should people think, okay, well, maybe I should just follow my purpose and I'm gonna have some money tomorrow then? Yeah. No, it don't really work like that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does not. You got to uh, work and keep right. going and, you know, um, hustle. You know, that's a sensitive word for me because sometimes it's so displaced. Mm-hmm. But you have to hustle with the right attitude, you know. Absolutely. Not hustle people out of stuff, but, um, you know, work hard. Put some, what I always like to say is some work with that faith. Right. You know, so important. You can't do one without the other. Um, I don't think you should make that stop you from fulfilling purpose. You know, um, not having or thinking that because you don't have money, you can't fulfill your purpose. I do believe that you should start, get, you know, on the journey and um, find ways. You know, as you begin to add value to yourself because you're learning, you're, you know, um, you're not going to be today what you are tomorrow as you continue walking in your purpose. So as you add value with your knowledge and your skills and your gifts and your abilities, no reason why you should not also be adding that monetary value. Mm -hmm. So, and people will pay for what they appreciate. That's what I've I've learned. And and a lot of times they don't appreciate it until they have paid for it. That too. (laughs) (laughs) That too. Um, I also think that, when when you are walking in your purpose and you're trying to figure out, should I start charging? Should I, mm-hmm. um, you know, do it for free? There are plenty of avenues. Facebook Live is a free resource. When I right. jump on, join me. 
Mm -hmm. Correct. You can check my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos. That is my free service. Right. Everything else I'm charging for. Right. I come to your house. I go. I, I have gone to the projects in the middle of the night to rescue girls um, and get them home because their moms have said, well, you were out there and you should have had a ride home. And now these girls got to walk through the projects and I've gotten out of my bed to go get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that for free all the time, but I'm not. I'm not. I've, I'm getting out of my bed. I'm leaving my child with my mother to go and do this. That The least you could do is cover the gas. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. And so when I set my prices, it's all included. Mm -hmm. I know what your child is going through. I know what you're going through with your child. So when I come in as the coach, I am going to charge. Mm -hmm. There's no more freebies. And I did my purpose for free for 20 years. I was about so to my, say. So yeah, my button on that is a little work. different. Yeah. Like, I have put yeah. in the work. I yeah. am the expert. That's what makes I, the difference. Exactly. You have some people that start not charging, and you haven't impacted anybody. You haven't proven yourself. You have not put any sweat, blood, and tears not necessarily in that order, um, to it. And so that's, you know, something that you also have to learn. Like, you, you clock in, clock in. And sometimes God is just waiting on you to get it before the financial reward starts Comes. to come. Yes. You could be walking in your purpose, but you haven't shifted Correct. mentally. Right. You right. haven't shifted spiritually, spiritually. Mm -hmm. to receive that reward. So it's not always automatic. And that's what I want people to hear and feel is like, you can identify it. And we've talked about some of the steps to do so. Mm -hmm. But once it's identified, and, you know, obviously, you need to write it down and start moving yes. in it. But that is not the determining factor in when it's going to start paying you, right? Absolutely. You there's still work to do, right? Purpose is a work. It is. Right. And I don't, I'm not saying that you can't get paid from the beginning. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that there are some people who know what their purpose is. They start it right off. They start making impact. I don't have a problem with people making money at it from the beginning. I just have a problem with people doing so when, without integrity. But if you do, then go for it. I mean, right. people pay for what they want. Don't tell me you can't afford to pay to send your daughter to Michelle's program when you're wearing red bottoms. Mm -hmm. It's all about where you decide to invest your money. It's a choice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And my personal thing is, don't come to me and ask me to do, get your child out of trouble for free when you could have paid, you know, $20 to come to a workshop right. to and keep get them the from ever getting into trouble in the first place. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to talk about the purpose walk a little longer um, because we call it a walk, but it's a purpose grind. Journey. Wow. It's a purpose that is journey. Life. You are touching on my Saturday topic, so Ooh. I'm going to need you to stop. Yes. <laughs> okay, so since you mentioned that Saturday, so right. Michelle and I that are speaking at Pearl's Passion and <laughs> right? Purpose. Um, we are speaking at this event on Saturday, June 24th. That's this Saturday. It's from 930 to 330. Michelle, what's your topic? A walk in my purpose. A walk in my purpose. And my to topic is who am I? Yes. And I cannot wait. I have been praying about it and just asking God to just like tell me what he want, how he wants me to serve this audience. Because let me tell you, once you just really get edified and you really just get that word and you understand what he is calling you to do, it, there is no other life. Yes. So if you're interested in this event, um, the... I'll share it on the Facebook page, but it's Pearl's Passion Purpose dot BPT dot me mm -hmm. so that you can purchase your tickets. They're forty dollars, but that does include lunch and it's in Pasadena. So we are looking forward to the Insight Empowerment event, Pearl's Passion and Purpose. So um, I was going to say that it's not just a walk, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be a fight. Mm -hmm. It is a fight. It is a fight. There are days that I'm like, oh, Lord, really? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just got knocked in the eye yesterday, Lord, but <laughs> I'm going to get back up today. Right. Um, what do you have to say about that? What What, uh, what do you want to tell people about the, I'm the fight? I'm getting emotional. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Oh, goodness. The fight is tiring. The yeah. fight is long. Um, sometimes it feels like it will never end. The fight is draining mentally. Mm -hmm. Um the fight is oftentimes within ourselves, whether True it's be a, being about do I charge or do I do it for free? Do How long do I make it? Do I, mm -hmm. you know, add value? And then the fight is lonely because you throw events and, out of your purpose and it's just you that shows up. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody else shows up. You got 40 chairs out there and no one is there. The fight is mm. lonely. The fight, um, y- your best friend, your husband may not understand the fight. People mm. will tell you to quit. People will tell you stop giving so much mm-hmm. and they don't appreciate it. And it it can be hurtful. The fight is at three in the morning when everyone is asleep. The fight yeah. is emotional. It is spiritual warfare. The the it fight is, is <laughs> exactly. the fight sometimes looks like me on my knees saying, God, I don't want it. To hell with all these people. I don't want it. I yeah. this is too much. Mm-hmm. And then the fight is Okay, God, I'm sorry because, you know, I do what you tell me to do, and I do love it when it's right. And so when is it going to be right? The fight is often uh, so uncomfortable that you would rather walk away. Mm -hmm. The fight is financial. Why don't you walk away? You can't because it's bigger than me. It's big and not it's about me, it, and it's not about me. Yeah, and, and there's yeah. an impact when you start thinking. And I think it's important that when you're walking in your purpose, that you collect the testimonies, Very because important. it's a nice place to go back to mm-hmm. and have letters from parents, letters from children who say, "Thank you. This right. is this is how it affected me." Correct. Right, and and sometimes you have to solicit them, but the unsolicited ones, yeah, are so. Yes. inspiring and they're so affecting that it it can bring you to tears on mm-hmm. your best day mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because you know that it's this is not about me this is about God and it's about what he has called me to do and even when I don't feel like it right because we said that the passion is emotional but even when I don't feel like it I have to show up and it is in those days that I get the best results mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Because it becomes a sacrifice. Yes. And um, God blesses a sacrifice that comes from the heart. Um, Definitely, you know, you're going to be knocked down. You're going to be hurt. Um, Things are not going to always go your way. But you have to keep going because those things will distract you if you uh, focus on them. But you have to focus on the outcome. Always have a why. Why am I doing this? What, What am I solving what am I trying to, what solution am I trying to create for this? And once you, once you keep that as a focus, it really doesn't matter what else happens. Nothing is bigger than fulfilling your purpose. It just Absolutely. isn't. And, you know, to tap on to the end of what Kiana said, in the days and the times that you feel like you can't, that's where God wants you. Because then he has you. He's like, okay, so he now I can in. really show you what I can do. I, God, can do. And then you'll even see more. It really isn't about me. Right. It's about what he wants to do. So embrace those days where you don't feel like it. Those are the days that God's going to do his biggest work. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Is there a routine that helps you? And it might not, not be a daily routine, but it's a thing you do on those bad days. What do you do when it feels like you're not? Like, Mm -hmm. if this is my purpose, it shouldn't be a fight is what some people may be thinking. So what do you do to (laughs) remind yourself? (laughs) Yeah, I want to say if it is your purpose, it's probably going to be a fight. It is. Um, There's a fight for your life, right? It was a Mm. fight to get here. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a fight that you made it this long. Mm -hmm. So understand that the enemy is never going to sit back and lay down and just, girl, go on ahead and just do your purpose. He'll never say that. He will always fight you. So understand it's going to be a fight. And the fight can be within you, like um, Kiana said as well. But um, for me, my routine, I got to keep it positive. So that means my space, Mm -hmm. my people, Mm -hmm. uh, the things that I do. I just can't afford anything else. You're going to throw me off. It's going to throw me off. So that's podcasts. That's conversations that matter. That is going to places that I know I'm going to receive empowerment. That's going, staying into the word, focusing on my favorite quotes, writing in my journal so I can purge myself, you know, writing down my fears um, so that I can go back and see what God did. Those are the things really that, that help me read books that you know can uplift me and help me to grow as a person so that I am always inspired to keep going Um, so there's a lot of inner work that needs to happen yes um, I appreciate my friends and my family that support me but if they never applaud give me an applaud or a like or show up 
God has me through these different avenues, you know, podcasts and reading and journaling and prayer and being in the word and, you know, whatever it may be. So try to keep your space, your mental space, your spiritual space, your physical space. Try to keep it positive. Absolutely. And yeah. don't forget to cry. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. I think that we've gotten to a place where it's like, oh, if you cry, then that's a sign of weakness. But right. sometimes we just need to get it out. Don't mm. forget to cry. Um, have that person. I mean, I, I, as a personal development coach, I have a personal development coach mm -hmm. because while your best friend wants to hear and she wants to be a part, it can be too much on a friendship to always be that person that you <laughs> dump to. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that recently. Like, mm -hmm. it's, I, I need to make sure that I'm not dumping it all on my best friend because mm -hmm. then you become a negative person. And everyone else thinks that you're positive, mm -hmm. but you just need that one person that you can give it all to and that you can give it to without judgment. And so we tend to go to the same person. And that can be too much on a friendship. It mm -hmm. can be too much on your husband, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Um, even and the positives so, too can be too much. It's it, like, it really okay, can. Can we talk about something else? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And so, you know, understanding that everyone that's in this circle is not ready for this. You know, I have a business circle. I have a friendship circle. I have mm -hmm. a relationship circle because everyone doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. I can call you in the middle of the night and mm -hmm. talk about three people showing up at an event mm -hmm. where 30 people are SVP and you get that. Right. Your husband might not like, you know what I mean? He right. might be like, Okay, that didn't show up. Don't you might do be like, one. should we be kissing right now? It's 3 a.m. <laughs> hold, that's a whole other show. Like, I'm hey, sorry. we got another purpose over here. <laughs> passion. We're the passion. <laughs> right, right. So don't don't forget to cry. You yeah. know, remember that that's you know really everyone important. can mm -hmm. everyone can be a support system, but you you need to have designated support systems for different things and and be open to yes, new support and stay systems. in prayer yeah. and have fun we don't play anymore right learn to play mm -hmm. i listen i when i get too overwhelmed i go okay i need a coloring break <laughs> right <'Cause it laughs> and my daughter doesn't mind. have to be there I, i'm not ashamed yeah, to say right. it has nothing to do with coloring with her <laughs> right. i would i would say That's for true. me that self-time my yes. my me time, my yes. my moment by the pool, even if I choose to do a little work or if yeah. I my weekly massage, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that and going back to the promise. Mm. Yes. No matter what. It, when it gets rough, I have to go look at what he told me. I have to go look. That's why it's important to write it down because yep. I go look at yep. what I wrote and what he told me was going to, what he's going to do and how, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And the that details. comes in your quiet time. Quiet so not time forgetting so to have that quiet time. God speaks to us in those moments. Sure does. So turn off the radio when you're driving. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nothing right. good playing on it anymore anyway. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Sit in quiet space. Get up a little earlier and have some quiet time some you time where you can meditate and connect with God in prayer mm -hmm. because those moments are the rejuvenation period of mm -hmm. the day mm -hmm. all right um we're getting close to the end of the show and I want to make sure that we get to tell people about the persona program because I told you I would definitely circle back to that yeah. um can you talk about your program and the next session. Yeah. July 1st, I think. So July 1st, yeah. So um, the Persona Program is a youth organization for girls 7 through 18 years old. Mm -hmm. We separated 7 to 11 and then 12 to 18. We have quarterly sessions um, for both age groups. So the next one is on July 1st. The 7 to 11 year olds, all year the topic has been on social entrepreneurship. So we're teaching the girls that entrepreneurship is definitely important, but the kind that affects community and events the world is even better mm -hmm. so we're teaching them from a young age what it means to really be a world changer through their creativity and then the 12 to 18 year olds um, we're talking about relationships um, in the afternoon and that's going to be so good um, we're talking about relationships as far as uh, dating violence and setting boundaries and mean girl syndrome and what does sisterhood means and why can't we get along on and on and on so I am looking forward to that one um, some of the adult women wanted to attend so I opened it up for the first time if they behave themselves uh -oh. <laughs> um, so that they can come and join in the conversation listen to what our teens have to say mm -hmm. and also maybe add some value as well so we're definitely looking forward to it if you are interested in attending visit www.thepersonaprogram.org 
Now, how does it feel for you when you're standing in the room mm. and you see the little girls get impacted or you hear, you get the testimony? Because I know I yeah, had to have yeah. a testimony about my girls after they left. Yeah. What does that do for you internally? And is there a conversation between you and God after you see that, those breakthroughs? Every time that happens, I'm healing little Michelle. That's what's happening for me. I didn't even know that's what was happening, but that's really what happens. Um, when I look into their eyes, I remember little Michelle and her insecurities and her feeling like she's not good enough and, you know, all of that. And I see them come through and have their breakthrough, like you said, and I just know that I'm healing myself. Um, just this morning, um, I had a call from a mom who remembered when I first asked her, do her daughter at like five years old to dance, and today she's in college attending a career creative arts school and she said Michelle you were the first one you're you she defined it so good I was like oh my god that's so good she said you dream for our girls bigger than we do even being their moms and wow. I'm like I do that wow she said yes she said you know there's definitely other support systems but you are one of them and you can see bigger for them than I was even able to so thank you and that was just this morning and that was unsolicited so he knows how to inspire you to keep going absolutely. on your path but absolutely. for me it's inner healing every single time i love it i absolutely love it where can people find you on social media michelle on facebook michelle harris collins and on instagram michelle harris collins and then the persona program on instagram is at persona program and www.thepersonaprogram.org awesome kiana tell us about your book and where people can find it and what inspired you to even write this book i mean my daughters are not teenagers yet. <laughs> a little longer, but my 10 year old is like, I'm a preteen. I'm like, Aw. it actually starts 11, 12. So oh, get ready. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm holding on, but I may need that book. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, I choose to be a lady.com is the website where you can order the book. It is all about the things that our daughters need to know to carry them through. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going to be doing a six week course free. It's a free online course. Okay. Um, I have a sponsor who is paying for young ladies to go through. So if you want to be one of the 30 or you want your daughter to be one of the 30 young ladies uh, from age 13 to 24. Okay. And that's a big age range, but I find that if they don't get it at five, no one's told them at 13, no one has told them at 25. Mm, and at 30, everyone goes, well, you should know by now. <laughs> and at 40, you still don't have it, and now you have an attitude about it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'll be offering that, and you can reach me. Um, you can send me an email if you're interested, coachkiana at gmail.com, C-O-A-C-H-K-I-A-N-A -A at gmail.com. And everywhere on social media, I am Coach Kiana Shaw. Awesome. Awesome. So I just wanted to mention again that Michelle and I are speaking this Saturday at the Inside Empowerment event, Pearl's Passion and Purpose. Mm -hmm. um, this purpose conversation to be continued. Is, right? Yes, <laughs> to be continued. And it's important that we have it because we all want to talk about, you know, making the money. We want to talk about keeping the husband. We want to talk about getting the husband. We want to talk about being a single mom and all these things that really mm. your purpose will give you the guideline on how to do all those things. Absolutely. So that is that is the reason I wanted to really talk with you ladies today about it. And I know just to finally answer the question, if we haven't already, passion is great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Passion is awesome. I think passion will help you endure your purpose and help Absolutely. you push through your purpose. But you've got to know what that purpose is. Yes. Um, you can follow me at The Style Icon on Instagram or uh, friend me on Facebook. Facebook.com. Uh, what Kenya Kroom Kirkland. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to the dialogue thank today. Thank you for joining. Thank I'd you. I'd also like to thank my guests, Michelle and Kiana Shaw. Thank you. My show engineer, Richard Carr. And of course, I would like to thank my friend and mentor, Starwood Quarles, for asking me to host today's show. Thank you again for tuning in to the dialogue, Real Talk, Real People. And it's your girl, Kenya Gay.
Thank you for tuning in to L.A. Talk Live and the Talk Live Broadcast Network, original reality radio handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is L.A. Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Stay tuned.